I will commence business with questions to the Minister for Agriculture, Food and Marine. First question in the name of Deputy Charlie McConnell, who has 30 seconds to introduce his question. Deputy McConnell. Thank you, Alaskan Corla. Um, Minister, this is to ask you uh, to discuss the poor price that beef farmers are receiving for their, fraud, their produce currently from factories. And also, Minister, to outline the number of times to date in 2018 that uh, beef processing factories have been fined for breaching EU carcass trimming rules, the range of the fines and the maximum amount that can currently be, be, be imposed, and also, Minister, to give the number of inspections by officials in 2018 to such factories to check grading and trimming in, uh, in compliance with EU regulations. And also, importantly, Minister, if you will ensure that there is transparency to this inspection system and, in particular, if you will ensure that those factories who have broken the rules, Minister, are named. Thank you. Minister, has two minutes. Uh, thank you, Deputy. The question of the price paid is a matter for producers and processors. Steers and heifers are purchased and paid for on the basis of the quality payment scheme pricing grid. To date in 2018, there have been 521 inspections across 32 slaughter plants and 44,332 carcasses have been inspected. A total of 19 carcasses were fined for non-compliance with the European Union reference carcass trimming specification, which is 0.05 per cent of the number inspected. Under legislation statutory instruments 363 of 2010, a non-compliance with the carcass trim specification attracts a maximum on-the-spot fine of €200 Euros per carcass. Regarding the maximum level that can be imposed, any person who commits an offence under the current regulations is liable on summary conviction to a fine not exceeding €5,000 or to a term of imprisonment not exceeding six months or both. Recourse to this approach would preclude the possibility of an on-the-spot fine and conviction would require proof of intention beyond a reasonable doubt. Carcass classification and carcass presentation controls in slaughter plants are carried out by a dedicated team of specialist staff in the beef carcass classification section within my department. Additional monitoring of carcass presentation by the, my department's veterinary public health inspection staff in the factories is currently being rolled out. This will provide further assurance to stakeholders that the appropriate dressing specification is being applied. These staff will provide a supporting role for the beef carcass classification staff. Upskilling of my department's uh, beef carcass class, uh, upskilling of my department's VPH uh, veterinary public health inspection staff has occurred at regional seminars and local training of officers is being provided. Furthermore, information seminars were held for both industry and farm representative bodies regarding the enhanced controls. As part of ongoing dialogue with the industry, both within the Beef Forum and directly with Meat Industry Ireland, I have stressed the need for positive engagement with supply between suppliers and processors, and I now understand that Meat Industry Ireland has accepted that no individual farmer should be at a loss from a mistake made in a factory in relation to the application of carcass dressing procedures. I further understand that processors will now introduce a payment to the farmer supplier to reflect any loss in each case where the Department of Agriculture, Food and Marine has applied a trim fine on a particular carcass. Such payment will be identified on the payment remittance docket so that the farmers will be aware of the penalty. Uh, Devin McConnell, there's one minute. Thank you, Minister. In relation to beef trimming, the EU regulation specifically states that no fat, muscle or other tissue may be removed from the carcass before weighing, classifying and marking, except for cases when veterinary requirements are applied. Um, what has clearly been shown from the fact that there has been 21 fines applied in 2018 is that there has been breaches <coughs> of the carcass trimming regulations. Um, and unfortunately, Minister, um, the performance of yourself in relation to the oversight of uh, the trimming uh, uh, process and also in terms of ensuring that there is accountability and transparency in relation to naming those factories which have been in breach 
and also ensuring that farmers who are affected uh, through financial loss are informed. You have been negligent in relation to your responsibility to ensure that there is proper accountability in relation to that. In fact, Minister, the factories are, so far have been shielded by you from actually being held to account and having to be uh, publicly account for the fact that they have been breaching these rules. So can you today, Minister, uh, give us an assurance that those factories who have breached the trimming rules will actually be named, Come and that you will not be acting as a ministerial shield, protecting them from uh, Minister, being held accountable respond. for a breach and leaving farmers shortchanged as a result Minister, of their practice. Respond. We must reserve the clock. Minister, one minute. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy. Um, one uh, fine, one carcass uh, excessively trimmed is one too many. Um, it is important to remain. Uh, focused on the objective here, and that is to ensure that we have full compliance by the factories with the regulations. And in terms of the inspections carried out, 0.05% of the in excess in 2018 to date of 44,000 carcasses, 0.05% were found to have a non compliance. As I said, every non compliance is one too many. And to enhance the level of further inspections, we are rolling out in quarter one of 2019 additional sets of eyes on the kill line to ensure that the specifications are complied with. The ultimate accountability in this will be by ensuring that individual farmers are made aware of where their animal, the carcass of their animal, was excessively trimmed and they will be notified that if the Department has acted in that context, they will be remunerated for any excess trim uh, in the docket, and they will know We're going to have to move and on. what they do with the information is up to themselves, but they will know the identity obviously of the Final individual question, plants. Deputy McConnell Logan, we're going to observe the time. The yeah, th thank you, Last Quarter Minister. I did ask you specifically to confirm if you will name those factories who have breached the trimming guidelines. You have avoided answering that question until now. Um, please be specific and give an assurance today that you will in fact ensure that those who have breached the guidelines will actually uh, be named by you and that you won't stand in the way and, and, and protect them from, <coughs> from being held accountable um, for uh, their failures in, in this regard. Unfortunately, Minister, this is yet another example of how factories have been taking advantage of um, farmers. We have seen a situation over the, last num over the last number of weeks where prices have been, uh, have been under massive pressure, particularly where, for example, with, with cull cows, where the price has dropped from 370 a kilo to 270 a kilo, uh, leading farmers to take a loss of 3 to 400 euro in some instances. And unfortunately, Minister, you have failed to hold factories to account at a number of levels, and we have seen how the Beef Forum, under your stewardship, has failed to hold them to account, and this is another example of that. Minister. Can I ask you, Minister, uh, to give clearly that assurance that you will publish the names of the factories, and can I also ask you to give an assurance that every carcass will be inspected? Uh, under a new regime in the new year, Minister. and indeed the farmers will be uh, compensated Minister, for those losses that held so far, and also there will ah. be transparency in the system for uh, beef trim respond. in the future as well. It's almost quarter to eleven. We have one question. Um, all to observe. I don't want to be interjecting. Uh, Count Corla, um, I, I don't accept that, that either I or indeed the beef, much maligned beef forum, has failed. Because, in fairness uh, to the forum and to all the participants in the forum. The resolution to this issue has been progressed through that, and the fact that we are now having additional staff trained and in situ to enhance the level of inspections, to enhance the, the supervision of the kill line, to make sure that, albeit the low, existing very low level, is further inspected to make sure that every farmer gets a fair crack at a whip in terms of the supervision of their cattle to make sure there is no excessive trim has been delivered through engagement. I have had direct engagement with MII myself, but also at the forum. That has been you know, a signal achievement. It has taken perhaps a little bit longer than we would have liked, but we are in a situation where, from uh, the start of 2019, we will have additional uh, staff you know, dealing with this issue to ensure that the already low level, 0.05%. Uh, there's 1.8 million cattle approximately slaughtered, uh, 21 detected uh, excessive trims in, in, in 2018 to date. 
is not, I, I think, signal oh, of a huge failure. Question but as I said, everyone is one too many. Our ultimate responsibility in terms of transparency here is to make sure that every individual farmer knows Kenny, and that they will be remunerated uh, for any cost that they have suffered, and that sorry, will happen. Sorry, Deputy Kenny. I'm looking for some cooperation in the House. It's now quarter to, and I think maybe deputies and ministers are taking advantage of my leniency. So I would ask you to observe the clock. You have a responsibility as well, and there will be others further down. 